If you consider yourself a chef and you like to make meat all the time, I got something that's gonna make your life so much easier because we're cooking meat, but the smart way. So right here in front of me, we have the meat stick lineup. We have the wireless meat thermometer and it's actually a very small meat thermometer that's wireless that has an app and allows you to cook your meat to perfection. But seriously, if you've always been afraid of undercooking your chicken or something, this right here is gonna take the worry out of it and make your life so much easier in the kitchen. So when it comes to the meat stick, there's a few different options depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Although for the most part, you can get it done with it. the basic option that we have right here, the meat stick mini, which is the smallest wireless meat thermometer. And it's actually pretty impressive. The charger takes two AA batteries and the meat stick that goes inside of the charger and that you're gonna use for your food will last about eight hours on one charge. The ceramic handle can support up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit of heat, although the internal steel probe maxes out at about 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the only drawback with having the regular Schmegala meat stick mini is the range. And the range is actually gonna get you about 33 feet in an open environment and about six feet in a closed environment such as an oven. So you pretty much have to be right in the kitchen while you're using this. But for the most part, you're gonna be in the kitchen cooking, so it's not gonna be a problem. Problem. Next, we have the Meat Stick Mini X, and this one takes the Mini up a couple of notches. We're looking at the same specs here, although the Mini X charger is where things change because it has an extender built in, so that way, even if this is in an oven, only getting six feet, you can have the charger within six feet, and then that'll extend the six feet up to 260 feet, so that way you can walk out of the room and still be able to connect to your phone to keep track of your meat. But then, if you wanna go all the way up to the max level, we have the Meat Stick Wi-Fi Pro Set, and this thing gives you unlimited limited range because it has a Wi-Fi extender that's USB powered and that way you can literally check your meat across the world if you really wanted to although you know you probably wouldn't do that but you could help somebody cook at home I guess that would make sense maybe but the point is you could go to any room of your house across the street for a little bit while your meat's cooking because you had to go across the street to get some sugar or something and still be able to keep track of things so that's pretty cool so the Wi-Fi Pro set actually comes with one meat stick that's actually a bit more higher power than the meat stick mini so the ceramic handle can go up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit Fahrenheit, and the internal steel probe on the regular size meat stick can go up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, up from 185 degrees on the mini. But not only does this come with the full size meat stick, but it also comes with the mini meat stick, so that way you have two meat sticks here along with the Wi Fi bridge, which is actually really cool. Plus, the mini X also has the extender. And the other great thing about the full size meat stick, 24 hours of battery life on a single charge in that little stick although the regular meat stick's slightly bigger than the mini but you know it's still really small so i mean bang for your buck this is actually a pretty solid deal if you want to get the most out of your meat now the entire meat stick lineup is dishwasher safe deep fryer safe has high heat resistance eight plus hours on a full charge and works with an app on your phone to make things incredibly easy so with that being said personally i'm gonna be opting for the mini x because personally when i'm in the kitchen cooking i'm doing a bunch of other stuff while the meat is cooking so i'm gonna be in the kitchen but i might leave the room and go chill for a little bit watch some tv or something so this one will give me 260 feet of range which is definitely gonna be good enough for me so box looking very nice we have the smallest wireless meat thermometer i mean if this thing's actually as small as it looks i mean the box is tiny it has to be small I'm gonna be severely impressed because every other meat thermometer I've seen you have the meat thermometer you stick it inside the meat but then you have this really long cable going out to the unit that you can read it on and that's just stupid when you can do this I mean, come on it's right on your phone and the cool thing about the app is it actually will tell you hey it's time to take it off it'll finish cooking if you take it out right now very cool very smart you can't possibly mess this up so let's get inside this box and see what we got Inside the box we have a thank you card for meat stick and a user manual as well as the actual meat stick itself in the mini X charger looking very nice I really like it. I mean look how small this thing is we have a little button here an LED light along with the actual meat stick that Seriously, do you see how small this thing is? It's literally about the length of my finger this meat stick has smart functionality in here that allows it to connect with Bluetooth to your phone or to the charger to connect it to your phone with more range. I mean, seriously, the technology in here is impeccable. So this is the ceramic handle that's able to withstand the most heat. Remember, it is deep fryer safe, which is pretty crazy. But remember, the metal probe here can only withstand 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Not sure why it's so much lower, because I feel like if it's stainless steel or something, it should be able to withstand all this heat. But you know, it is what it is. But it's very well made, has a nice point on here, so you can stab it inside your meat. And overall, this is very nicely designed, and I'm super impressed. I mean, 
This is a pretty nice piece of equipment if you're a chef. Just keep in mind the standard meat stick that's not the meat stick mini is going to be slightly longer, probably a little bit more hefty, but you know, still going to be tiny. I mean, how much bigger can it be? About an inch or so? Seriously, I'm really impressed. I mean, this thing has eight hours of battery life and you charge it right here. Look at this. It's like charging some AirPods. We get to cook meat with it. Pretty cool. All right, so once you get the meat stick paired up with your phone, you can go inside the app and actually set up a cook. So this is actually pretty cool. So you see your meat stick here, it shows you your battery life, your Bluetooth connection, how hot the temperature is right now. So is it really 86 degrees? Really? I don't, I don't know if that's accurate right now because we're not actually cooking anything. But we're gonna set up a cook and then it gives you a bunch of different options here. You can do quick start and you can see we have oven, stove, grill, smoke, sous vide, and deep fry. I'm really impressed you could put this thing in a deep fryer. I mean, seriously, that's pretty cool. So, you know, for testing purposes, let's choose oven. You can choose beef, poultry, pork, lamb, seafood, and plant-based. Crazy. Oops, I accidentally picked lamb. You know, let's stay on lamb. Why not? So you can pick a rack of lamb, a leg roast, a rib roast, a crown roast, a shoulder roast, a chop, a steak. You know, let's go with a rack of lamb. Why not? And then right here, it says, how would you like to cook your meat? Medium, USDA safe at 145 degree internal temperature? Or you can choose rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, or well done. Very cool, it has different temperatures. Or you can just drag this around to choose your target internal temperature, all the way up to 180, all the way down to 100. You can adjust temperature alerts, so it actually alerts you when your food's ready. So you can have an early warning at a certain temperature, as well as a target warning at a certain temperature. Pretty cool. So let's see, let's just choose medium well. It'll adjust it to 155 degrees. We'll go next. It's scanning, it's creating the cook. And here we go, now it tells you how to do it. You insert the metal completely inside because remember the metal's not as heat resistant as a ceramic outside, so you wanna make sure it's inside. You're gonna make sure you put it in the thickest part of the meat because that's the part that takes the longest to cook. You wanna make sure this is as accurate as possible. We're gonna start cooking and boom, here we go. We're in silent mode right now apparently, so it's not gonna give us audible alerts, whatever. But rack of lamb, oven, elapsed time, remaining time, it tells us our current temperature. And look at this, you have a whole thing here, you have the target at 150, current temperature 83, we have a graph here that shows you everything, very awesome. And as it adjusts, I wonder if it'll pick up the temperature on my finger. There we go, it's going up. You can see the graph spiked up and it'll keep track of what the temperature is, if it drops, if it goes up, if it stays steady. And look at that, it's going up to 87, very cool. So with that being said, I'm gonna go cook some meat with this thing, put it to the test in the real world, and we'll come back and see how well it actually works. All right guys, so it's time to actually put the meat stick to the test in a real live cook. So right here inside of this pot, I have some chuck roast. It's looking good, looking fabulous. Now to be fair, you can't really undercook this, but you know, I wanna know when it's ready and it's perfected. So we're gonna actually put this to the test. Inside the app, it says now cooking, but we're not cooking anything yet. But we see our meat stick here, we see the battery percentage, it's currently charging, has Bluetooth connected, all that stuff. So we're gonna set up a cook. So we're gonna select oven, we're gonna choose beef, we're gonna choose ribeye roast, and now is where we're gonna choose how well we want it to be cooked. So it's recommended medium at 145 degree internal temperature. We can tap on that and change it. So because we're actually gonna be making birria with this, we're gonna choose to have it well done at 165 degree internal temperature. That's the target. It's gonna actually alert us once it's ready and it's gonna be like, okay, you can take it out now early because the juices are gonna simmer and cook it the rest of the way. You can actually adjust the temperature alerts, have an early warning at 160, so it'll cook up to 165 as it rests, and it also set the target warning, which is 165, which is the recommended temperature if you want well done. We're creating the cook. All right, we're almost there. Now we have to insert it completely into the thickest part of the meat. So we're gonna take our meat stick off of the charging base. See how small this thing is? It's crazy. I'm gonna stick it in a very thick part of meat, just shove it on in there. Make sure it's completely in there. As you can see, perfect, looking good. Just make sure it's in there, looking good. Have that part sticking out because that part can withstand higher temperatures than the internal stick. And now all we do is press start cooking and we're ready to go. Current internal temperature is 69 degrees or 65, it just dropped, it's still getting ready, and it looks like we're ready. All right, and now we can see what the current internal temperature is at 65 degrees, targets 100 degrees more, it looks like it just dropped, and I mean, it is pretty cold. We see that we have an elapsed time of one minute and 16 seconds, remaining time, but we didn't stick it in the oven yet, but we'll get that started, and we'll be back to see if it actually worked well. Whew.
All right, we are back and all I can say is wow, this thing really blew my mind. It worked exactly as advertised, a little bit better than I was expecting to be honest. I mean, I had this inside the meat. I started the cook, I had it cooking, I had it cooking, I was doing some other stuff and guess what? Buzz, buzz, it's almost time to finish. This thing literally told me, hey, take it out of the oven now, let it rest on the counter and it'll continue to cook until it reaches the perfect temperature. I did it right when it said that, put it on the counter, a couple minutes later, it was like, okay, it reached the internal temperature, you're ready to go and I was like, really? Cut into that thing, it was amazing. Tasted great, cooked perfectly, and I'm seriously impressed. I mean, usually up until this time, I always had to guess. I'm like, okay, I'm pushing this. You know, that thing with your fingers, you're like, okay, this is medium well, whatever. And I didn't have to do that. This thing, I just knew it was ready, cut into it, perfect. Pretty impressive. I mean, seriously, other than it actually working very well, the app is very well made, very beautifully designed, very functional, easy to use. This thing is meticulously designed. I mean, look how cool this thing is. So tiny and it actually works insanely well. Seriously, I am severely impressed. It is a bit pricey, but really as good as it works, it's definitely worth the price of admission if you do a lot of cooking, especially if you use meat thermometers already, you're gonna be like, okay, this is the way to go. It's so much easier, so much smarter. It literally tells you when it's done just by using your phone. Seriously, you don't have to think about anything. Just stick it in, press go, and it tells you when the food's ready. I can seriously recommend this no matter which one you get. I mean, honestly, I would recommend the Mini X if you just wanna be in the middle and not spend too much money on it because it gets the job done unless you're planning to leave the house or something because 260 feet's pretty good and most likely you're gonna be in the kitchen anyways doing some other stuff while your meat's cooking. But if you wanna go far, you know, the Wi-Fi option is definitely a good option. It comes with two meat sticks, including a Mini, so you can do two things at once. And I mean, seriously, I can't believe I've gone so long without this. This thing right here, Genius.